Okay, welcome to my third and final Life and Death 2 tutorial video. I really hope this is the last one. Um, the game keeps bugging out in ways that make it impossible to complete the operation. <clears throat> in any case, this is the uh, brain tumor operation, the intermediate difficulty one. Um, so as for all the tools and equipment, um, that's pretty much all the same as we had in the aneurysm operation. <clears throat> so, um... Let's just continue. There's not really anything new. So this is a brain tumor on the right side. Begin as usual with your soap and gloves. <coughs> Turn the patient to the right. Disinfect with your iodine solution. This is all exactly the same as it was in the uh, aneurysm operation. All the way up through um, getting past the, subdur uh, the dura mater, rather. Blood antibiotics. So if you want to see this in more detail, watch my uh, um, aneurysm operation video. That should be just fine. I explain everything in great detail over there. So, let's see if we can get through this bit without our assistants yelling at us. And continue. Didn't quite meet up with the uh, last incision there, but nah, that's fine. The game doesn't really care about that, as long as you're close enough. Which is ironic, seeing as how it requires lots of precision in other cases, but whatever. Open that up. And drill our burr holes so that we can get through the skull. Irrigator and drill. Mm, bone wax those bleeders as usual. There we go. And dissect. That's good. Now saw through from burr hole to burr hole. good. And remove the skull flap. Bone wax for the bone bleeders. Irrigator. Cauterizer for the tissue bleeders. That should do it. Grind down the rough bone edge and the sphenoid ridge just like we did before. Oh, there's another bleeder there. I got rid of that bleeder. I don't know where it is. It was in here somewhere. I hope I got it. I really hope I got it. I don't know if it's going to fuck things up or not. Oh well. Now we're done with the blood, so put in some saline. The brain is relaxed, so we're good for now, and we can inject our nitroprusside. While we're waiting for that to happen, <coughs> drill our little pinholes. and put in the sutures. One in the center. There we go. And once again, we are left to... Oh! PCO2 is rising. Turn up the respirator. And we'll just wait. Hardison bradycardia. 
atropine. PCO2 is back down to normal, turn the respirator down. And with those crises averted, we can just wait until the blood pressure drops down all the way. All the way to zero over zero, of course not, to 50 over 30. Getting there. Definitely getting there. Okay. So now put blood back in the IV. It's almost empty, so we'll refill it. And now we begin cutting through the Dura Mater. Cauterize those bleeders before they kill the patient. I think that's probably fine. Continue cutting. You know, don't cut too much shit at one time or else there will be too many bleeders for you to deal with at once. have to have patience when performing surgery. It would also help to have patience. Haha, <laughs> get it? That was a good pun, wasn't it? Come on. Right in the center. There we go. I really hate the mouse controls in this game. I mean, they're the best we've got, but they're pretty shitty. Good. Hope it doesn't fuck up like it always does. That looks good. Okay, hasn't fucked up yet. Come on. Cauterizer. There we go. Good. Is it going to fuck up? No. Looks like we're good. Okay, didn't fuck up. Gauze on there as before. And raise the Dura flap. Okay, good, good, great, great. We're fine. So. Now what you do is you use the ultra scan. I'm going to pause it for a moment here to explain what's going on. Um, so the ultra scan is what you use to locate the exact spot of the tumor. There are three layers of brain tissue um, that correspond to the three um, depth layers of the uh, ultra scan. So we need to search through the three layers until you find a tumor. It'll look like a little white peanut shaped thing on the ultra scan. So grab that. And the fir oh, hey, look, look at that. It's in the first layer. If you wanted to go to the second layer, you click that button and then the third layer. But it's in the first layer. Note the coordinates. Here we have plus 24, plus 12. Okay. So now we can get rid of that and go to the microscope. Move it to plus 24. Um, how do I? Oh, right. Plus 24. It's very, the motion controls are very sensitive. It doesn't have to be exact. That's good enough. Plus 24, plus 12, close enough. And now what you do is you use the suction. Oh, we're almost out of blood. Um, put saline back in there. Fill it up again. Use suction to get the tumor out. The tumor is colored black. So it's in the first layer. One suction and we're done. Suck out the black tumor. Just keep going around. If it were in a deeper layer, you would have to suck out more times, you know, click on the suction a greater number of times, whoops, to get to the tumor. Try not to suck out too much healthy brain tissue. And you want to make sure you isolate the tumor more or less completely. So suck out all the uh, tumor tissue you can find and suck out tissue from all around just to make sure there isn't any um, excess tumor tissue you're missing. And don't forget to irrigate. Oh, hey, PCO2 is rising. 
Okay. More tumor tissue down there. Whoops. That's all healthy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Okay. Healthy tissue, healthy tissue, healthy. Okay, looks like we've got the entire tumor. <laughs> so now all we need to do is close up. <laughs> then this is close, closing up is exactly as before with the aneurysm operation. Get rid of the gauze, lower the flap, not in that order. suture around. I'm putting way too many sutures in, I think. But I don't even care. There we go. Now remove the irrigator. Put the bone flat back in place. Drill the rest of your pinholes. Like so. Near the ones you placed before. And the one in the center. Use your hand to connect them. You may or not be able to see it depending on how close they are. And put the last bit of saline in there. And now we just close up like normal. Remove all of the Rainey's clips. Come on there. Now we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Finally I got through this damn operation without the game bugging out. Alright. And now we staple the patient's head together. Those were not quite even, but whatever. We finished with the operation. Way to go, doctor. You successfully excised the patient's brain tumor. This one will be mentioned in the honor roll for sure. Congratulations. Well, that's it. The third and final operation, the brain tumor operation. I hope these videos were instructional. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, and that's all for now.